Hello children. Welcome to Learner's Planet. Children, today we will study about water. Children, we all need water to live. Water is needed for many things. For example, water is needed for washing, like washing our hands, washing the clothes in the washing machine. Water is also needed for cleaning purposes. Like we can see in these pictures, water is necessary for cleaning. Water is also useful for cooking. So we need water for cooking also. We also need water for drinking. And we need water for bathing. Children, we saw many useful things in which we need water. Now we will study about the sources of water. So, we get water from the rain and the water from the rain is called rain water. See in the picture students. This is a rain water. So from where do we get water? We get water from the rain. And this water which we get from the rain is called rain water. The rain water fills the puddles, the ponds, the lakes, rivers and streams. This is a stream. So children, we saw that the rain water fills many places. Children, when snow on the mountains melts, it flows into the rivers in the form of water. So children see here, there are small, small snowflakes. When they start melting, they flow into the rivers in the form of water. So we can say that we get water from the snow also. Children, sometimes we build dams and canals to use river water. So, this is a picture of the dams and the canal. So we build these dams and canal to use the river water. Children, some rain water also seeps into the ground. So how can we use this rain water which seeps into the ground? We can use this water by digging wells 
and the hand pumps and in our homes we get water from the taps so there are many sources of water so we will recall all those sources we get water from the puddles ponds lakes rivers streams dams canals well hand pump and tap children now we will study about the drinking water so children the water which are which is obtained from lakes rivers ponds and wells may not always be clean why because we use this water for many purposes and so it makes the water dirty and the dirty water contains germs so drinking dirty water can make us ill so we should always boil the water before drinking why we should always boil the water before drinking because boiling the water can kill the germs and always remember that we should keep the clean water in closed containers and we should drink this clean water only from the closed containers not the open containers because the germs can attack the open containers and it can make the water dirty and if you will drink dirty water then what will happen it can make us ill so always take care that you should drink water from the closed container you should always boil the water before drinking and always remember that water should be clean now children we will study about the saving water children if we have to wash many fruits we should always wash them with water in a big bowl do not use the running water in this way we can save the water so children always remember that we should not waste water we can save the water in many ways like we should not let the tap run when we brush our teeth we should not waste water while bathing or washing okay children always remember that we should save water otherwise we will not get the clean water even for drinking so always 
save water do not waste it in such ways children rain water can be collected in tanks in drums and in buckets so if we will collect this water in the tanks drums and buckets then what will be the benefit this rain water can then be used for watering plants for cleaning the cars and also for cleaning the floors so children always remember that rain water can be collected and we should save this rain water so that we can use this rain water for many other purposes so this way we can save water children i hope you learn about the importance of water you came to know that how much important is the water in our life so always remember that we should save water thank you children